Hello everyone, welcome to another session of Geography. In the previous class, we learnt about Geography third chapter, Indian Climate. Today we are going to learn another interesting chapter from Geography that is in it fourth Indian Soils. In this class, we are going to learn on these topics, meaning, importance and kinds of soils. So, dear student, let's start our class with the meaning of soil. What is soil? It means, soil is the thin surface layer of the earth, it is called soil. What is surface? What is the meaning of surface? Surface means upper layer of the earth that is called surface so this is about meaning of soil let me ask one question for you how soil is formed how it is formed soil is the outermost known as crust and it is completely mixture of organic metals which are the organic metals the metals are mineral, water and air. So, this is about the formation of soil. Next topic, importance of soil. What are the importance of soil? The importance of soils are, soil is one of the most important natural resource of India. Basically, India is called the land of agriculture because Many people depends on agriculture. Agriculture production is depends on the fertility of the soil. So, dear students, this is about the importance of soil. Next topic, kinds of soils. Soils of India can be classified into six main types. How many types? Six main types. Here, Indian soils Indian soils are not equally distributed across the country because some factors influence on soils. The factors are natural vegetation and climate. So here soils of India can be classified into six main types. They are alluvial soil, black soil, red soil, laterite soil, desert soil and mountain soil. So, this is about kinds of soil. So, dear student, let us discuss about the first soil of India that is alluvial soil. Alluvial soil is composed of alluvium. It is called alluvial soil. So, alluvial soil we can see in the North India and as well as sea coastal areas. Basically, alluvial soil is completely deposited by, it completely composed by rivers and sea waves. Dear students, in the previous lesson, I told you while I was teaching geography second chapter, no? uh, physical divisions of India. In physical divisions of India, second division is there, northern great plain. Northern Great Plain is completely formed by the three rivers. The rivers are the Ganga, the Brahmaputra and the Sutlej. Here, alluvial soil is completely deposited by the rivers and sea waves. It is vast area. It covers an area of about 15 lakh square kilometer in India. Some crops can be grown in this type of a soil. The crops are paddy, sugar cane, cotton and vegetables. So dear students, in alluvial soil, there are two type of alluvial soil. They are Khadar and Bangar. Khadar is one of the new type of alluvium and Bangar is one of the older alluvium. These two words called by North Indian people in their language. So, dear student, this is about alluvial soil. Next type of soil that is black soil. 
black soil is also known as regur soil what is regur regur means in kannada we are saying eremannu and black soil is also called black cotton soil why it is called black cotton soil in question only there answer it means black soil is the best suitable for the cultivation cotton that's why it is called black cotton soil black soil are derived from the basalt rock that's why it is there in the dark black color and it has a high clay content and it has a strong moisture so it is a vast area and it cover an area of about 5.46 lakh square kilometer in india so black soil we can see in the deccan region in the deccan region areas here some madhya pradesh maharashtra north karnataka and some part of gujarat some crops can be grow in the black soil the crops are sugarcane jowar paddy cotton and chillies so dear student this is about black soil next type of soil that is right soil right soil is a formed weathering of a granite and crystal line so that's why it is there in the reddish or red color but right soil has less clay content and as well as it has a less moisture so right soil we can see in the across the country so the states are in karnataka we can see southern part maharashtra uttar pradesh odisha bihar west bengal mizoram kerala and goa it is a vast area and it covers an area about 5.2 lakh square kilometer in india some crops can be grow in the right soil the crops are ragi potato tobacco and vegetables even variety of crops also can be grow in the right soil where irrigation facilities available in india there we can start cultivation so this is about right soil next type of soil that is laterite soil these soils form in the tropical areas under the conditions of high temperature and as well as heaviest rainfall in india so where we can see laterite soil where highest temperature has recorded and where heaviest rainfall recorded in india there we can see laterite soil so laterite soil is a vast area it's covered an area about 2.48 lakh square kilometer in india but laterite soil is a limited for agriculture for example paddy but laterite soil the best suitable for plantation crop for example tea and coffee laterite soil we can see in the eastern ghats western ghats chota nagpur plateau rajmahal hills vindhyas and satpur range so dear student this is about laterite soil so dear students today we learned about init for indian soils so remaining topic we will study in the next class thank you